Hello, my name is Stuart Wilson. I'm Director of Sales for Cupidi and Catron, and today I'm going to show you why two-way decks are better than one on a waybelt feeder. So here's a waybelt feeder feeding a blend of nuts at a consistent flow rate or mass flow. How does it maintain that consistent flow rate? Well, in very basic terms, we weigh the nuts on the belt and we take that weight back to a controller which varies the speed of the motor driving the belt accordingly to achieve the flow rate that we want. Pretty straightforward. In graphic form, here's our way belt feeder. Here's the belt travelling in an anti-clockwise direction as we look at it. Material flows out of the hopper onto the belt, passes over the way deck, and is then discharged off the end of the belt into the process. The mass flow is calculated as the material load on the way scale times the speed of the belt. And as I said earlier, the controller will vary the speed of the motor driving the belt to achieve a consistent and repeatable second-to-second -second mass flow. So as you can see, there's really only two variables in our equation here, material load and speed. So for best performance, we want to make sure we measure each accurately. Let's ignore speed for now, as we're talking about weight measurement, and let's assume we have a very accurate scale using Cupidian Catron's smart force transducer technology. If you think about it, you're actually measuring two things on this weigh deck, the weight of the material on the belt and the weight of the belt itself. But of course, the weigh deck can only see one weight. Therefore, to get an accurate material load, we need to subtract the load caused by the empty belt. To do this, we run the belt with nothing on it for a full revolution, measuring the empty weight as we go and storing the weight as a tear value in the controller. This method of tearing the belt is fine for many applications, but what if we have a material that over time sticks slightly to the belt? Even a small amount of buildup can throw your accuracy off as you're weighing and counting that buildup during every revolution of the belt. You can re-tear the belt, but that means stopping the process, which often isn't going to be practical. Adding a secondary weigh deck that weighs the empty belt before material is loaded onto the belt is a simple yet very effective solution to this problem. The material load then becomes a simple subtraction of the empty belt from the loaded belt and is therefore independent of any changes of weight to the belt. You've effectively created a continuous online tear. And that's why two weigh decks are better than one. Thank you for listening. If you'd like any more details, please visit us at www.coperian.com.